So Cedar Point has demolished one of their water slide complexes at Cedar Point Shores, and they've recently released this um, teaser video, um, clearly hinting at something to do with sirens. So if you're unsure of what a siren is, they are a mythological creature, half bird, half woman, and um, they lure sailors to their death with these beautiful mystical songs. Plenty of time for applause at the end, boys. <laughs> Sounds hot. Mm -hmm. So obviously this is going to be a 2025 water coaster coming to Cedar Point Shores, just kind of like the one Kings Island's getting, right? Wrong. Another day, another Six Flags coaster announcement, am I right? <laughs> um, so they just announced yesterday this, this one will be called Siren's Curse, and it will be a Vacoma tilt coaster. Oh my god! Which, oh my god, uh, it's so exciting and kind of shocking, actually. Um, when we read this, we kind of had to like check to see if it was April Fool's Day or not, because this is pretty mind-blowing information. Yeah. And this most likely will be the first one in North America, since Coda Land is taking so long with Circuit Breaker. On top of that, Cedar Point is saying that this is going to be the longest, tallest, and fastest tilt coaster in North America, which is super exciting to look forward to. Yeah, we can't find any stats on Circuit Breaker yet, uh, but Cedar Point seems to know, and they're declaring that their coaster is better in all of these categories, length, speed, height, and they couldn't possibly be saying that without knowing for sure, right? <laughs> Something like this hasn't happened before. Or it's possibly just because they're sure that theirs is gonna open first, and if theirs is open first for some time, it's gonna be the only one in North America, and if it's the only one in North America, obviously it's gonna have all those records. Fair enough. Being the only one. <laughs> I don't know, but the the records are not what's important here. Exactly. So yeah, it seems like we were all duped. I don't know if anybody had a Vacoma tilt coaster on their Seared Point bingo card this year, but um, I'm pleased to hear about it anyways. What we're wondering though, is if this is the same coaster that we spotted in Six Flags Mexico's parking lot and um, just looked random photos uh, recently. So that definitely piques uh, some interest. The elusive Six Flags Mexico mm. Vacoma coaster. <laughs> Energylandia in Poland, yes, that Poland, was initially supposed to get a tilt coaster um, that was actually canceled. And a lot of people just assumed that the photos we saw in Mexico was that canceled roller coaster. We did the same. Mm -hmm. It makes a lot of sense, yeah. right? Yeah, it checks out. It's a very Six Flags thing to do to try to get a roller coaster on like some kind of discount that was canceled somewhere <laughs> else, you know, so. Yeah, right on brand. Checks seems. out. So yeah, we haven't heard anything on that Six Flags Mexico coaster since we saw those photos. No announcements, no nothing. And now that Six Flags and Cedar Fair have merged, I'm maybe thinking that if uh, Cedar Point was like, hey, that's a shiny, cool looking toy you have there. It's mine now. <laughs> I can I can totally see that happening here. Also, the red and gray color scheme with the neon green lights doesn't exactly like scream siren to us. Um, I guess when we first heard the name, we were thinking it might be more like a blue green like ocean tone, um, the color of the sea. But um, you know, adding in the fact that this was such a late announcement, this may very well be the same coaster. Um, this is highly speculation at this point. Um, and it, it would be a tough loss for Six Flags Mexico, but we're kind of all for it because it's so much easier for us to get to Cedar Point. So from a selfish standpoint, like we kind of hope that this is happening. Yeah, you're not yeah. gonna hear us complaining. No. <laughs> <laughs> that a coaster that was supposed to go to Mexico is coming, you know, so seven, much closer. Hours, seven hours away from us instead. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Siren's Curse will be the 18th coaster at Cedar Point. Uh, 19th if you're counting Gemini as two coasters, whatever. Yeah. 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 The point is, they have a lot. <laughs> and this one looks absolutely amazing. We've been patiently waiting here in the United States for some uh, next generation Vacoma roller coasters, and we're finally getting some. Uh, another one being uh, Six Flags Great Adventures Flash Vertical Velocity, uh, which is a Super Boomerang model, and it was also uh, delayed this year. It was supposed to come out in 2024, delayed to 2025. So I guess we're getting uh, two next gen Vacomas next year. Wow. <laughs> All right, so let's get into some stats here. Siren's Curse has a height of 160 feet with speeds that would reach 58 miles per hour and a track length of 2,966 feet. This would come with a 90 degree vertical drop and two inversions, both barrel rolls. On top of that, it'll offer a high speed triple down with um, 13 airtime moments. Uh, yes, please. <laughs> the layout looks to be compact and looks like it'll offer a great mix of forces, both in positive and negative departments. 
I'm hoping they can add some cool elements to make it fit that Siren theme a little bit better uh, because as we said earlier, the color scheme just it does not match this theme at all. You know, who knows in uh, seven, eight years when they have to repaint the thing, maybe then they can finally make it blue and that'll actually fit in with the theme. Yeah, make it make sense, but whatever, we'll take whatever at this point. <laughs> It will have onboard audio though, which is really cool and makes a lot of sense for this ride because you know sirens they they sing. It's it's, it's kind of it's kind of their deal. It's I kind guess. of their thing. You yeah. need to have audio with these ladies. And like you know what? As far as onboard audio goes, like every roller coaster in the world is just having onboard audio of some sort. Yeah, it really <laughs> adds to the entire experience. It definitely makes it more interactive. Like even if it's not like a themed coaster, like if it's just like a stylized coaster, like just put in an awesome song. Give some tunes. Give, give me some honor score. Mm. They will be building this next to Val Raven, which means they don't have to remove any existing rides or anything like that, which is helpful. Um, but it seems like Celebration Stage will be getting the axe and there is an access road that also might have to be rerouted. But I think the main focus is no removed rides, which is definitely a plus. I don't like that it's being placed right next to Val Raven, though. Uh, like both those rides, they have like the same exact kind of gimmick where you're like tilted forward over the first big vertical drop, you hang there, and then you drop down. On Siren's Curse, you're going to be on a entire piece of track that literally starts tilting forward, locks in with the rest of the layout, and will then drop you. Whereas on Val Raven and other dive coasters, on the top of the drop, um, you're being held up there by like a holding brake, and the entire train is not really tilted that much forward. It's, it's less tilting. Uh, this is definitely going to offer like more thrills in that department, but again, kind of the same gimmick, so. Visually. Yeah, not, yeah. not a huge fan that they're right next to each other, mm -hmm. but again, they didn't have to remove any rides for this, so that's a plus. Mm -hmm. Now, is this a good fit for Cedar Point? We really don't think so. This park is so coaster heavy already, and there are, there are two existing coasters with a 90 degree drop, well, one that's operational anyways. <laughs> <laughs> But it's Cedar Point, and Cedar Point's gonna do what they wanna do. Um, they really do pride themselves on being the roller coaster capital of the world, and I'm not gonna knock them on that. They they are one of those establishments for sure. I can't think of a better roller yeah. coaster lineup anywhere <laughs> else. So. And it does seem like they will always prioritize a new coaster over maybe perhaps something else that they should add in. And even if they can't get all of their roller coasters to function all at once, you know, they just keep piling them on. But, just add another one. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's to our benefit in the end. So, like, I don't know what we're complaining about. We're not. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you will not see us complaining yeah. about this one. <laughs> keep adding them on, I guess. Yeah, we thought we thought we were going to have to wait for uh, Circuit Breaker to open, mm -hmm. which God knows when that'll be, or for this um, Six Flags Mexico coaster to open, which mm -hmm. at this point, if our hypothesis is correct, is never going to happen because yeah. it's now at Cedar Point. Exactly. And Texas and Mexico are both way further away from us than Ohio, so. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> so yeah, um, we were not really planning on going back to Cedar Point next year because we did get our Top Thrill 2 ride uh, on opening weekend this year, but this is a game changer and yes. you bet your ass we'll absolutely be back there <laughs> 2025 to ride this thing. But yeah, what an absolutely insane announcement from Cedar Point. I don't think anybody saw this coming. Like, there's left field, and then there's wherever the hell this thing came out of. Apparently Mexico. <laughs> Too soon? Touche. Touche. <laughs> so there you have it, folks. Our initial thoughts on Siren's Curse coming to Cedar Point in 2025. Oh. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> what, what are your thoughts on this coaster, and are you as excited and shocked as we are? Do you think it's a good fit for the park? And most importantly, did they steal this from Six Flags Mexico? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Almost certainly, right? One would assume. Or Six Flags Mexico. Womp womp. Lo siento. <laughs> now that you're in the same chain as Cedar Point, uh, you better get used to it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> King Kings Island knows all too well. Just grabbing stuff up from wherever they want it. <laughs> it's like the big bully brother, Cedar Point, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, they do have the uh, biggest and baddest roller coaster collection, hands down. We love it. Love it. Love it, love we'll it, love be it. We'll back. All right, so make sure to hit that thumbs up button if you like this video. It helps us out tremendously against that YouTube algorithm. And uh, if it's your first time here and want to see more content like this, uh, feel free to subscribe as well. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. What do you think about the roller coaster new Siren's Curse, baby? What do you think? Well, he's a little nervous. He doesn't know what he thinks about mystical water demons. judge you, baby. Oh, yeah. He does, he's not too sure what he thinks about mythology. <laughs>